Well, check out those pictures. They really give you a sense of some of the history uh, here at Donato's Bakery. And uh, while you're waiting for your pizza or whatever it is you're here for, um, you can have a gander at these pictures and you really get a, a sense of uh, just how tight this family is. And uh, we're here with uh, David and his mom. And uh, we're talking about, you guys have a clan name. That's right, actually. The, the, in Southern Italy, uh, most of the families are associated by a clan name. And um, most of the time, uh, when you marry into an, a certain family, the male's clan name will trump uh, the females. But yes. my great grandmother was uh, was so respected in the village, uh, her clan name actually trumped everybody's. So if you were married into the female part of the family, it was her clan name would, that would take over. So it's it's actually quite astonishing because most of the time it shouldn't really it shouldn't really go that way. No, it never so. does, and it's because of her breaking baking prowess. That that is correct. So yeah. she was very respected in the village, and that was uh, that was something that it's. You know, it's, it's been so passed nice. down. Oh, sorry. The clan name is La Marinara. So it started with uh, her mother, which is my great great grandmother, Concetta, and uh, and it just followed on that way. So we're actually really happy about that. And in fact, my grandfather, who had his own clan name, uh, the way that people would uh, would address him, he would be the husband of Rosaria <laughs> of La Marinara, which was actually. It was actually pretty cool. Oh, wow. I yeah. never hear of that happening, and in Italy. It, it, it's correct, but it followed, all, it followed us all the way over here. Wow, that's so amazing. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it's amazing. That's fantastic. And uh, something that you may not know, uh, your father is actually over there right now collecting ingredients. Yeah, that, well, that is, uh, that is actually very true. So he's, uh, he's over there visiting family, but at the same time, uh, he's also collecting something that we use as a, as a, a specialty item. Uh, this is our... our Black anise seeds. Now, this is very, very rare. You can get anise seeds here uh, in Canada. But they're green. But they're green and they're huge. They're much bigger. These are very, very rare because they grow wild, so they're hand-picked. So our cousins know where to find them in the mountains of Calabria, and uh, one of our cousins goes and picks them hand by hand, and my father's bringing them back. There's a picture of my father up there. Uh, so we, you can see what he looks like in, in his absence. But he's actually going to be here tomorrow. So we're very excited. We're getting a new supply of aniseed. So and we're you use happy. these in your baking? That's right. We use it in uh, some of our Easter baking, and especially in our signature tarali, which is basically a, a bread breadstick, stick. a twisted breadstick. And it has, uh, this is the active ingredient, really. That's amazing. That came a long way, that anise. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank you. Keep watching. Go.